Hey guys, and welcome to primandprep.com. Today we are going to be reviewing the Feather Popular Twist 2 Open Butterfly Open Safety Razor. Um, let's get started. Uh, it came in this cool carrying case with five high stainless feather blades, which are my favorite blades. Uh, just in case you want to take it traveling, it's kind of cool that it came with that. Because it's a pretty sturdy plastic box. Um, let's get into the details. So it weighs 1.2 ounces, which is a very, very light safety razor compared to every other safety razor on the market. Um, it has a decent balance to it, though. Uh, the handle's so long, even though it's so light, it's still long enough to make the balance point right towards the top. Um, preferably, it'd be still on this handle right here, and I feel like the length of this knob is too is too long. I'd rather get closer to the head, but it kind of feels weird having my having my fingers on the knob, halfway on the knob, halfway on the handle. Sometimes it ends up loosening uh, the butterfly open contraption, which is not good because it loosens how closely that blade is pus pushed up against the top piece and the safety bar. So it makes it easier to cut yourself, which is a bad thing. Um, in terms of the grip, it does have these horizontal grooves right here that are plastic, which actually provide for a you know a decent a decent grip um, going up and down. It's a lot better than vertical grooves or no grooves at all. Um, you shouldn't have any trouble with it slipping out of your hands anytime soon. Um, let's talk about the length. And something I noticed with really cheap safety razors, such as this one, is that they're all really long, uh, or most of them are, besides like the Weishi. Uh, a lot of the other $10 safety razors are really long, which is interesting because I think longer safety razors can cause more problems than short ones. I do like long handles because I have really big hands, and I like to do a grip where my pinky is on the bottom, and that works out for me. Um, but for most people that do this, or if they have smaller hands, they might have trouble maneuvering it um, when going from one hand position to another. That's the only problem with a handle that is 4.5 inches long, such as this one. In terms of aggressiveness, it, I thought it was going to be more aggressive than it is because I'm used to Parker Butterfly Open safety razors, and every time I hear Butterfly Open, I'm just expected that it's going to be a lot more aggressive than it actually is, um, but but this one is actually not that bad. I'd rate it about a 5 out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale, which is not that bad. In terms of blade replacement, it is a butterfly open safety razor. Uh, and unlike most, some have knobs at the bottom, like a lot of them are here's, or the ones that have knobs up top, you just twist the knobs, but this one you actually twist the handle, and the whole head moves with it, and it opens up just like that as you guys can see. Um, so it's very easy to replace the blade. Uh, the only thing I have against this Butterfly Open Safety Razor is that a friend of mine had it before me and he already had his break because uh, the hinges are half on plastic, half, half on metal. So uh, it kind of makes it more prone to breaking, let's just say that, compared to some Parker all metal Butterfly Open Safety Razors. It's definitely more prone to breaking, but at a $10 price point, um, you know, that's not losing too much if if that's the case. So, in terms of the shave quality, I've shaved with it probably 10 times or so, and I've gotten pretty decent shaves. Uh, not the best, not as good as I get from uh, any of my Mercure Safety Razors or Edwin Jagger, even Mules. Um, but it's a good travel safety razor, and that's what I'm using it for, especially with this cool box that it came with. Uh, if I end up losing it on a business trip, then that's not a big deal. It was only $10. It's also really light, so it doesn't weigh down my bag, so that's another reason it's a good travel safety razor. Um, in terms of um, buying it as a beginner, I'd say it's a good option. If you're not sure that you want to get into wet shaving, spending $10 and finding out if you like it uh, is a minimal investment and you could get a lot out of it. 
if you're a, a, a advanced wet shaver, um, I wouldn't really recommend it. It's not, it's nothing special. It doesn't feel very good. It's very tacky and it is prone to breaking. Um, but overall, for ten dollars, it's not a bad safety razor. That's why it's in my best safety razor article for cheap safety razors because compared to a lot of other ones, it is it is decent. You know, so um, yeah, that's my feather popular twister open safety razor re review guys i hope you got something out of it um you know at, at the worst it does come with a cool box and my favorite blades it's funny that yeah you know the cheapest safety razor one of the cheapest on the market comes with one of the more expensive blades and one of my favorite blades ever and feather is kind of here and there they either make really really nice safety razors which is um the stainless steel safety razor that's about $170 and then their other one is just a $10 plastic one they both come with the same blades though which are my favorite blades but I just think it's funny overall but yeah that's my it's a safety razor review guys um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below or head over to primprep.com for more uh, safety razor reviews and male grooming tips overall have a good day